Check test. How's it going, guys? All right. Looks like we are live. Just checking Facebook. How you guys doing today? Happy Monday. See if anybody is here yet. Um, here we go. Sharing this on Facebook. Hey, what's up, me? You're always the first one. Cracks me up. How's it going? Mortar. Okay, one second. Just sharing this on my page. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Good to see you. Happy faces. Share to a page. This always takes so long. I apologize. Da, da, da. Okay, done. All right. And we're done with that. Um. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> a baby uh, like everybody else, huh? <laughs> yeah, I thought about it, but you know, it's like how many baby Yodas? I guess we should have the, all of them. The answer is all of them. Everybody should do one, right? <laughs> all right. So uh, you guys have been loving these Mitch sculpts lately. So um, Mitch just drew this dog t today. I think he posted it this morning and I thought it was awesome. So he's, he's been killing it lately. So I figured out, I figured I'd just continue on with the whole, uh, the whole Mitch sculpting. Hey, what's up Spicer? Thanks so much, brother. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. So we're going to start with the sphere surprise and I'll just start blocking out this head. And going at it. <laughs> Sounds fun, Travis. Hello, everybody. Hey, Neil. Neil, this is another Mitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, Chris, he, he typically is. Um, just make sure you ask him permission first. Um, but yeah, he, he was, he's normally completely fine with it. Um, Let's see. I was actually thinking about trying one of the, as I'm starting to sculpt block this out, maybe doing kind of what we did last week and starting with the Zizu instead of, uh, instead of just blocking it out. If I want to just do the head or do the whole body, trying to, trying to decide. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like a Don Bluth. I'm sure. <laughs> hey, Jorge, you did. I just started. Just barely started. All right. I think I'll just continue going, doing what I'm doing the, the old, the traditional way. All right. Um, there we go. Done. <laughs> Head blocked. Now, actually I'm going to undo this. I'm going to make this be the lower part. Do something like that. Thanks, Neil. All right. And the eyes will be somewhere in here. Grab this appendage brush. Kind of looks like a guy with a big nose. Hey, it's going really well, thanks. Hey Lucy, thank you so much. Yeah, it's a great character. I figured let's uh needed to be done, right? Needed to be modeled. Now I'm gonna model him with his mouth open first. So it's gonna look funny for a while. Trust me. Okay, we're gonna clip curve this down to be flat. Auto 
I'll group this. Clip this one off too. I like how clip um, respects masking. Whoops, I went the wrong way. There we go. Hey, what's up, Andre? How you doing, man? Tennessee tuxedo. <laughs> Isn't that like a penguin or something? Maybe. <laughs> the silhouette did not look good. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, it's a bird dog. Yeah, I've told you about that, that CTN story before, right? where I was up on stage, made it look like a not so good, not not for kids. <laughs> it was bad, I was on a Macintosh and I didn't know the keys, so I wasn't used to it. And so, hey, what's up, Night Shadow? So, <laughs> so it was a pretty, pretty good phallic thing happening. Yep, we're just making a duck, it's a duck dog. All right. We'll just I'm just getting the pieces in. It's so funny how 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 silly the model can look until you actually like get there, right? Um yes, it is a Mitch Leeway original. Well, it looks like it's based off of like All Dogs Go to Heaven or something like that. But that being said, it's still He just drew it this morning. <laughs> Night Shadow, yeah. The technical problems, it was fun. I, I could not get my audio to work. Yeah, Jimmy. <laughs> How you doing, man? It looks dumb until it doesn't. Just keep going. That's kind of the... The whole mantra of, of sculpting or drawing in general, uh, more so in drawing, or uh, sorry, more so in sculpting than drawing because with drawing or painting, it's the more you work on it, the more muddier it can get. But with sculpting, you can work on it and keep pushing around the, the, um, the pieces until it works, hopefully, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it never does. I've been there. Oh yeah, Cyber Monday on the Flip Normal website, everything half off. Yeah, that's good deals right there. So speaking of that, if you guys don't mind, I'm pitching my course today and ZBrush has a really good uh, thing going on right now. If you haven't picked up ZBrush, most of you here probably have it, but if you haven't, if you don't have it yet, they're doing this. Check it out. It's like one month, six month perpetual, 100 bucks off. You can get ZBrush right now. Yeah, sweet, sweet deals. So I think they're on the Pixelogic website. Go check it out if you haven't bought it already. <laughs> So there's that. And then I'm doing mine too. I'll give it to you, Neil. There you go. There's everybody. So I'm doing a Black Friday blowout that's uh, 100 bucks off right now, but afterwards I'm raising the price. So if you think about it, it's actually 400 bucks off because I'm raising it 300 because I've essentially doubled the content of what was in the course since I first launched. So I figured, hey, it's probably time for a, for a price increase. If I upgrade to 2020, do I then, do I then need a subscription? Um, what, what do you have right now, Jimmy? Do you have, uh, do you have a lifetime? Or do you have a perpetual license right now? If you already do, then no. 
updates are upgrades are free to pixel logic so if you already bought it you already bought it I had a question about ZBrush. Is there a way to get the default value of a slider after fiddling with it? So what do you what do you mean, Dexter? I, is there a way to get the default value? Are you saying you want it to stick? It's going great, Neil. Thanks. Yes. So people that have not purchased ZBrush already or do do not have a subscription. Sub Subscription already. I was going to say prescription, but that's medication. ZBrush is medication. <laughs> yeah, holiday laziness. It's a it's a real thing, my friend. Real thing. <laughs> Especially with that turkey, right? Tryptophan. If I'm adjusting something, but I changed its slider value without doing undo, can I get the default value of that slider back? Um, just by the only way I know of is, is, uh, restarting ZBrush or, re, or memorizing where it was in the first place. <laughs> I know that's not the answer you want to hear, but that's how I, that's how I do it personally. Okay. Hey Stefano, how you doing? Oops, <laughs> drawing more spheres on here. That's not what I want to do. Um, yeah, you could reset the brushes. There's also like a reset ZBrush. Initialize ZBrush right here. That'll do it. But that will also clear out your, your, your Z tools and all that too. Hey, what's up, Harry? How's it going, man? Making his nose. Right. All right. Then let's do split these off. I'm going to save this out. Hey, Renault, how's it going, man? Oh, I'm just blocking out a duck. <laughs> what are you up to, man? This is a duck, duck dog. Is that a thing? I can't get enough of these uh, Mitch, Mitch Leoway concepts. So I made a cow last week and I'm doing a dog this week. They're fun. I like them because they're short. Like I can do them in a session or almost, almost in a session. On the slide, on the what the hell is. Um, so 3d art. Yeah, I will, but I'm having, uh, I'm doing a Q and a for people that are interested in buying my course. Um, so I, but I'm not doing that here on Twitch. I'm doing that somewhere else. Yeah, Renault is the king of clean. <laughs> is that a is that a thing I can dub you? <laughs> okay. 
want to get these to curl. Dog duck. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know that I want to. <laughs> I think I'm going to split these off so I can. Oh, tell me it doesn't look like a dog's head. All right, I got to do it. It's probably the same, right? For sure. <laughs> the mouth. That's funny. <laughs> okay, I gotta show you guys this. What what is this? <laughs> what? Thanks, Internet. <laughs> oh geez. King of Clean. <laughs> awesome. I'm gonna split these ears off so I can uh I want to get them to kind of curl around on themselves, which is, is fairly difficult to do with limited resolution. Is this, this one, this dog, no, this is uh, made, this is done by Mitch Leoway. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of his stuff. His stuff and uh, Johannes Helgeson, right, Renault? Reynold like loves uh, Helgeson as much as I do. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to I'll have to check that out after I'm streaming, when I can look close more closely. Seriously, his stuff is just such a dream to sculpt because he just has such a. Uh, a nice knowledge of 3d so it's all the stuff is kind of it's not all figured out for you but it's pretty much there and his designs are so great and um his sense of shape language and like overall design he he works the design across the entire thing to make it all cohesive and gosh yeah i'm a fanboy <laughs> as you can tell Oh yeah, did you see that? So that that last one he did was kind of difficult to model if, if I were to model it. So he did one, here I'll show you. So when when you do a concept in a crumpled pose, like, like down and kind of collapsed and you, you just can't see everything you need to see as a modeler. It's kind of like a, a blueprint that's been rained on. <laughs> <laughs> so like this one, it's fantastic, right? I would love to model this, but all of the information is kind of hidden inside. Um, and then you can't quite see. So you, you, as a modeler, you would have to make up a lot of it, right? Um, which you could, but yeah, it's kind of hidden. And, but this face is fantastic. The pose is great. I guess, here you go. I take that back. Here you go. You just model this and then put it in this pose if this is the same one. So there you go. There's all the information you would need. That's really nice. Holy cow. Who's gonna, who's gonna model, model it first, Renault? <laughs> oh man, cause, cause he did one that was just fantastic. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, back to it. Dang, I didn't see his, I didn't see the drawing of her. Man. What am I doing a dog for? <laughs> no, I like to do these. These short. Short ones. That I can, like I said, that I can get done quickly. Did the... Did the chat stop? Go check over on Twitch to make sure the chat didn't stop. Oh, there you go. So, no, I think, um, 
Schatzwein, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, you always make up some stuff, some stuff as a modeler to a point. Um, but the less you have to make up, the, the closer it'll look to the concept, you know? Sometimes the reason I ask is because about chat is because um, sometimes it just likes to stop. <laughs> okay, so full the ears. I'm gonna try and re uh, z remesh these. to see what they look like. Maybe I could go a little higher. There we go. So yeah, Night Shadow, it's it's interesting with with Z Remesher because it's kind of a give and take, a push and pull. It's you'll get nicer quads, but then it won't match your surface as well. It's yeah, it's I don't know. I still haven't figured out Z Remesher completely. Yeah, Chris, I just got done with a student stream where I built um, I built a guy here's this is my page but this is this guy right here his name is Sirloin of Beef he was concepted by my friend Todd Harris and I've been wanting to model him forever but we just barely finished and uh, my good friend Brendan Banks Bankston he's another streamer on here he helped me texture him on the live stream turned out pretty good so <laughs> So 3D art, um, I don't work for Pixelogic. I just volunteer to stream on their channel. So uh, I don't know specifically why you'd be having crashes yourself. Um, so what I would do is submit a, a support ticket to Pixelogic and, and maybe they can help you out there. That's probably the best route to go. these deeper okay and I'm gonna split this nose off I think it already is split off it is okay Rumple his neck up more. Um, have I seen the new Sonic? Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Well, the character design is much better than it used to be, right? It's crazy they actually listen to the, their audience. Like, fix the character, you guys. So they did. That was, that was pretty courageous of them. Or, unless they planned it all along, that was the biggest internet troll th ever. <laughs> Like they got people to care about it by posting a crappy model. That's not Sonic. If that's the case, it it, it was genius, <laughs> but I doubt it. <laughs> okay. I want to pull this whole thing forward. <laughs> right? A master plan. <laughs> Thanks, Quana. How's it going? Uh, you did see a Black Friday sale on my website. Yes. So here it is right here. It's just uh, 3dcharacterworkshop.com forward slash Black Friday enrollment. 
I can paste that right here. And also uh, ZBrush is on sale today as well. So it's a really good time to hop in the course and grab ZBrush if you don't have it already. It's $100 off today, uh, my, my course is. And same with uh, the full license of ZBrush is also $100 off today. Pretty sweet. I know, nice shadow, probably. <laughs> They're like, what? I was done. What is this? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, so I'm gonna combine all these things. I'm gonna leave the ears separate though this time. It cost them 35 million to change it. Oh my goodness. So guard, yep, yeah, because if it bombs, you'll know who paid the price, the people actually working on it. Well said, my friend. Go see it, go support them. They probably worked overtime too, like, yep. So support them if you can. All right, let's duplicate this. And I'm gonna subdivide it a couple times. And merge it together. And I think I am gonna do, I'm gonna do a kind of a mixture of uh, Sculptress Pro and the Z Remesher workflow. Okay. So let's, uh, let's combine this together. It looks like this. Delete lower. Stitchy stitch. And then, um, so now it looks like this. What I've been doing recently, after I go to this one, is um, I've been messing with Tessimate, which is interesting. So Tessimate is over here, and basically it's like, so if I turn this polygroup size down to 0 .005, that just works with my ruler size pretty well. And it does this. So it kind of preps the surface for, that's a little, it's actually a little too small. Crank it up a little bit. It's hitting the performance pretty hard. There we go. Okay, maybe 0.3. You should have the warble that you made in a pose and say one of us. <laughs> okay, something like that. Now, if you go into... Um, Let's see, I'm going to turn Sculptus Pro mode on, and then if you go into Stroke, go to Sculptus Pro, and then turn off Adaptive Size, and turn this Subdivide Size, it's also right here, but turn it down to the same size, like 0 .26, 0 0.27, the same polygroup size, it'll be the same. So when you smooth over here, it's essentially the same size. So now when you do the, the whole uh, Sculptress Pro business, it'll, it's kind of, it, it gels together and works. Now you can get like uh, this fill brush and just start kind of working it. Hey, how's it going? If you use the dam dam center brush and have a lazy mouse real low, does that clean your stroke a little bit? I mean, it can. It can. Uh, Mustafa, just 
I, I, I hate to say it, but it comes with practice. The more you sculpt, the better you'll get kind of a thing. And the more um, confident you'll get as you sculpt. Okay. And I, I still have to work through it with every single sculpt that I do. There's a, there's a time when it just goes through absolute crap. It just looks horrible until it doesn't. <laughs> well, hopefully it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, the cactus. <laughs> Okay, come on, Topological, do your thing, man. I think I might have to mask it off. Oh, come on. Anything to say for someone who's looking for their first job in the 3D industry? Um, well, Let's see, what, what can I say about that? Um, what I would do is, I mean, just, just try and get your foot in the door anywhere. Don't, you don't have to try and go for the large studios. Just go for a studio that'll give you a chance and get some experience under your belt. For me, that studio was Sapphire. A long time ago, I worked at this place called Sapphire here in Utah. Um, I worked on Xena Warrior Princess, a fighting game for the Nintendo 64. But uh, yeah, they gave me my first my first chance working in the industry. And then just just kind of uh, just keep working on your portfolio until someone takes notice, um, and kind of uh, make your portfolio. As far as putting stuff in there, you want to put stuff in there that's going to um, show that you know how to do the job. That's what, I think a lot of people miss that about a portfolio. That's the whole idea, the whole thought process behind a portfolio is showing companies that you know how to do the work. That's, that's it. That's the whole goal, the whole reason you do it. So you kind of have to put yourself in the shoes of the of the company that wants to hire you, whoops, because they have characters that need to be made and they just need, honestly, they just need to know that you can do it. That's it. I've talked about that before, but I'll say it again <laughs> because I've had a hand in hiring artists and um, that's it. That's what a portfolio is for. Um, I pro I'm probably not going to do fur on this guy. I'm just going to keep him simple. I might do a couple little hairs up here and a few down here, but I'm not going to put fiber mesh on him. I feel like everything is done in industry is too pro for me, but I have to start somewhere. Yeah, just keep going. You know, there's there are studios that will look for, uh, we call them green, green people. Green means new, fresh. Um, they're, they're full of ambition, ready to work, ready to go, and they don't cost a, as much as a pro does. Okay, so they're just as valuable as somebody who's been in the industry for a long time, um, but in a different way. So for a studio, they, they want like someone who, m m like I said, might cost a little bit less, but can still do good work. And that's how you get your foot in the door. Studios don't just look for like senior modelers every single time. You have to kind of, <laughs> my, the, the nerd in me just came out or the geek in me is like, you kind of have to think about it like a magic card game. If you ever play uh, Magic the Gathering, and there's a thing called a spread or a bell curve, and you kind of have to have the same bell curve in your team. 
you have to have uh, some new people, some advanced pe or some intermediate people, some advanced people. So you want you can't have all advanced or it's going to cost too much, right? So you uh yeah, studios don't just hire top tier talent, okay? I mean there there are some studios that do, but that's a different thing. So um so the the regular plan I don't I really don't like to talk about the pricing here during the live stream because um people this goes up on YouTube and people talk about it later and uh but just just really quickly um basically the I'm raising the price to uh up $300 from what it is right now. So right now it's $100 off of what it used to be. I know that's kind of crazy to think about, but so essentially you can think of it as $400 off what it's going to be. And the, and I said, you know, the reason why I'm raising the price is because like I said, I've doubled the content since it first started two and a half years ago. <laughs> okay. Split unmasked points. And I'm going to fill this with almost a white. It's kind of looking weird like a kangaroo or something right now. Oops. Bulgy-eyed kangaroo. Right, thanks, Neil. <laughs> yeah, so at the time of this stream... Yep, it's lifetime access too. So it's not like eight weeks and you're out. Yeah, but that, that a lot of that comes from feedback from my students, like, you know, asking their the worth of it, what they how much they feel like they've gotten out of it, and it's just this is what I do full time. I just do the course full time, so I spend I spend all of my time with either my family or the students in my course, which is my second family, <laughs> so. It's true. <laughs> okay, this is really crazy. I gotta, I gotta focus on what's going on here. I think his nose is way too long, or his snout. It's look, it's bothering me that he's looking so in the, in the valley of the suck right now. Let's fix him. <laughs> from DC Comics. Um I typically st stray away from licensed characters if I can because I don't want them to tell me to take it down. Even though I'm not selling it. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Chris. Um, 
Did you did you post it in the community? Is that what you're asking me? I I need to go and throw down some comments in there. <laughs> okay. Now I need to I think it'll help a lot to maybe go like this. Yes, there we go. Yeah, Chris, I'll check it out. I'll take I'll make sure I uh give you a comment on there. Okay, let's pull this out a little bit more just to get that neck transition to look better and then make him have a, a chin. Am I able to find tutorials on your channel? So I don't really have tutorials on my channel. I um, You can look up uh, some past streams that I've done for Pixel Logic, and yes, I talk about inserting, in, insert multi-meshes symmetrically on that quite a bit. Okay, I need to, let's fix this. There we go. That's better. So if you just do a search for Shane Olson on YouTube, uh, maybe Shane Olson ZBrush or Shane Olson Pixel Logic, they'll pop up. And this is, um, I've done over a hundred episodes for Pixel Logic, so there's quite a few. And each one of those episodes is about two hours long. That's feeling a little better. Okay, let's turn Sculptures Pro mode off. Now, um, <laughs> that is that is over two hundred hours of sculpting. It's funny because I did a student only live stream for my students and those were two hour episodes and I did 34 episodes of that. So that's like, thir what, 68 hours there. Yeah, I like to stream. <laughs> Streaming is my thing. You did that without a calculator. I'm impressed. All right, let's see. Is it only really been 45 minutes? Okay. You're never in chat, just lurking here. The thing is that I'm interested in your course, but I don't really want to start from the beginning because I think I have some knowledge in ZBrush. Yeah, you don't, there's, so there's, uh, there's different sections. It starts beginner, but there are also different sections. Like, so you, there's an absolute beginner section. There's kind of an intermediate section. And then as you go, um, since it's lifetime, you can, just keep making character after character and getting feedback on it. So if that's what you're interested in. Uh, 
Um, yeah, thanks, Chris. That's what I tried to do is like actually slowly walk you through exactly in real time what I do when I'm making a character. Whereas here, I just kind of brush over it. I mean, you could probably pick up and figure out what I'm doing by watching these live streams. A lot of people do, but if you want a, a really detailed breakdown of what's going on. Okay, let's see. Hey Paul, I can't look at it right now because I'm streaming, but um, I, I'll try and take a look afterwards. Go down a little bit more. It's, it's how I learnt. <laughs> Let's see. You know, when I was think when I was looking at URLs for my course, I almost I almost picked up one called Get Learnt, <laughs> but I figured that uh, I have enough international students that they wouldn't understand what that meant. Get Learnt. <laughs> Get good. All right. Do clients sometimes come to you to create characters from scratch, providing you with no reference? Um, you, not, not really. Um, most of the time I have reference. Um, but occasionally someone will give me like an image of a person or several, several references, like photographs of a person to model from, from, photographs and that you know that's not really concept but it's still reference right oh you did kevin awesome yeah he's fantastic what's crazy about mitch is the way he thinks about drawing is almost hand in hand the way i think about sculpting which is it, it blows me away every time whenever he you know posts some of his stuff on uh, instagram or whatever it's like Man, I would I would have done it the same way, kind of a thing. So, like his breakdown of this head, I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. Let me find it here. Oh, I got too much stuff in here. No. This one. Okay. So check this out. So this is the this is the image that he posted on Instagram. And he basically breaks it down. And this is essentially how I modeled it, right? Start with a sphere, add on these pieces, and then do higher level of detail. And then this one. <laughs> you know, model the rest of the beeping model. <laughs> So that's it, that's kind of a funny meme that goes around, but it's true. Oh, thanks so much, Paul. I appreciate the the kudos for sure, man. That's super nice. And 
this side. I'm just trying to get that to look like it's curling over, which is kind of a hard thing to do. <laughs> right? Hand butt. That's this right here. Hand butt. <laughs> it's a thing. It's funny because I, I like to use terms that aren't typical, you know, that aren't technical. Because why? Because you'll remember them. Not that you, not that you need to know the technical term, but you, you'll remember to put it in there no matter what it's called, right? I actually can't take the credit for that one. That one comes from Proko. Stan Prokopenko over at Proko. He calls it the hand butt, which I loved. But I didn't forget it. So I'm like, all right, that's what it is. It's the hand butt. Yep, I, it's uh, yeah. T today, I no no pressure, but today's probably the best day to hop in there. Luana, Luna, your boyfriend used to work with me at Disney. What, what was his name? Can you say? Do I listen to Proko's podcast? I need to. I don't as much as I should. Um, I, I love Proko. He was, when I was first starting out and start very, very first starting to put my course together, he was a really huge influence on how I put it together. Um, and he was super nice. He took the time to, uh, do some Skype calls with me, um, and talk to me about, you know, how, how to put it together, how to present it, all that kind of stuff. So you can, uh, thank, thank Stan for the way my, my course turned out. I can't thank him enough. I finally met him at person at the Lightbox expo this year. And, uh, yeah, super cool guy. Well, thanks, Paul. <laughs> thanks. Shane Nowak. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Okay. That's right. Very cool. Cool name, too, that guy. <laughs> well, tell him hi. I'm sculpting with a mouse. I'm not really sculpting. I'm just clicking and moving stuff around. <laughs> yep, foot to the floor. <laughs> Either it's on or it's off, right? All right, pretty happy about that. Well, let's add some color. Let's, let's uh, kind of start to think about color. It's our, I, this, is, this has gone pretty fast, probably because it's only a head, but usually it doesn't go this quickly. Yeah, Dadan, no worries. It's just all about getting the getting the volumes there and then editing them af after they're there. Getting them into place, then moving them around until you like them. And I still have a ways to go. I still want to pull the lip down, the top lip down over the bottom lip because that's kind of how dog snouts work, you know? <laughs> so... You, you're you're wanting to fiber mesh him. <laughs> oh, funny. If if I was more of a fan of fiber mesh, 
maybe. <laughs> I just kind of have a hard time with it. Try this better. Come on, crawl. Crawl down it. No, it's not working. Try it again. <laughs> Gosh, doesn't want to do it. Oh, well. Let's see if we can get it pulled out with the snake hook. <laughs> Covers up all your mistakes. That's a good way to think about it. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and cover that up. Nobody's going to notice. Did these stick together? If they did, I didn't mean, yeah, it looks like it. Dang it. Down to here. That's kind of weird. Oh, well. Oh, well. It is what it is. I'm not going to animate him, so. <laughs> Wonder what stuck it together. Oh, that's what we can do. I still have the polygroups on here. There we go. Okay. <laughs> you tried fiber mesh last night. It didn't go well. You know, that's that's everybody's kind of uh they have the same ex same experience okay so i'm i'm super glad the polygroup's still there because i essentially just wanted to close his mouth a little bit more see this now i can move it around but it's connected clear down here and i was hoping it would stay apart all the way up there some something i did along the lines connected it so, oh well. Deal with it. And, but now I can pull this lip down lower, which is awesome. And raise this a little higher. Oop. Maybe I just want to put a line there, not so much. Pull it. Thanks, Neil. Let's shape this nose better. Actually, I'm glad that it didn't take me very long to block him out because now I can actually spend more time um, making him like polish. All right, Paul. Thanks for hanging out, man. Okay, I'm gonna roll this down. Way too tight. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. And I like to put a, a line across the front usually. come back and define it some more. I didn't clean 
<laughs> join us. I, I did clean up the uh, my my hard drive quite a bit because I was having some performance issues with 2020. It turns out it was because my my hard my swap disk hard drive was full, and it's still kind of full. I'm I'm in the middle of backing it up so I can get rid of a bunch of stuff on there, but it's still kind of choky today. Now let's fix fix what I broke here. Then let's come along here with pinch. All right, Kwana. Thanks for hanging out. I need to catch some of your streams too. I always get the notification that you're going live, and I, I it always always happens. So happens that I I can't catch them. Okay, let's get. wanting to define this line it goes around and it kind of loosens up as it goes down around the bottom Turn on back face so it wouldn't paint through the back of the ears. How do you mask through gizmo? What do you mean? How do you disable black screen on the silhouette view? Oh, like like this right here. Um, so that's pretty easy. I'll show you really fast. So essentially, the default is a white background. So if I crank this up to white, um, you can go to preferences, go to thumbnail, and this is the default, right? Right here. So preferences, thumbnail, and then you can change the size of this. That's as big as you can go. Um, I like to have it something like this. Then if you want to get rid of the background and have your silhouette as white, you just change this to pure black right here. So now my color is black. Go to preferences, click on background, and it makes it go away, and then you just see your silhouette. Pretty cool. And sorry, sorry, Mustafa, I don't know what your question, I don't understand. How do I mask through gizmo? Um, with your gizmo, you can hold down control and drag down an appendage. And it will just mask off, like it down a finger. You just click, like say on the bottom of the finger, and then hold down control, click and drag down the finger and it will mask off everything except for that finger. So you can try through that. Is that what you mean?
And I like how Mitch has put just a little tiny bit of red in here. So I'm going to do that. Thanks, Lucas. Got it? Okay. Good. Uh, Lily, that's a... That's a tough one for me because I used to draw all the time and I was, I was okay at it. Um, I wasn't, I, I wasn't ever a professional, like I wasn't a professional concept artist. Um, but I could draw and it was more for just kind of fun. And I'm not that good of a, I'm not good at drawing right now. I'm okay at it. I can still draw. And yes, sculpting has helped me draw a lot better, but I just don't draw very often because I spend all my time sculpting. It just makes more sense to me. Um, and it's not good or bad. Actually, uh, Yan Sculpts just barely did a, a, a video on why some sculptors can't draw very well. And that's, it's funny because I feel like he was talking about me. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm one of those people. Like my friend Matt Thorpe, he can draw really well. And Dylan Ekrin can draw really well. And me, I just, I, I don't know. I just don't <laughs> spend my time doing it. I should, because yes, it will help. It always helps. Everything helps. But it's just all about where you want to put your, your time and your effort and your money. Not money. Well, I guess if you're buying training. So, <laughs> all right. I'm going to, I think I'm just going to paint these eyebrows in. Is that weird? And I'm going to do it with the fill. Do it with fill. Turn on. So any of these brushes, except for the move brush, you can actually paint while it's kind of a two-part brush. So you can um, you can paint color while you raise the surface. I'm going to tighten this up just a little bit. Da -da -da. I get a tighter edge on there. Oh yeah, Neil, thank you. Yeah, if I ever miss a question, please feel free to to ask again because I'm just kind of focused on my on my work here, and I it's easy I easily miss questions. I try to do my best, but sometimes I'll miss them. Okay, so. Uh, so hey Lucy, the one of the things that you need to do when picking a color from your from your con from your concept is the hot key is C, like the letter C is in cat, okay? But if you try and do it right now, you're just going to get the background color. See that? There's it's not going to do it. So what you have to do is push Z or Z to show the spotlight ring. Okay, you have to have that showing. Now if you push C you can pick a color, but you don't have to pick it, like click it. You don't have to click it to pick it. <laughs> you just have to hover over it. See how the color's changing depending on what color I'm hovering over. And then when I find the color I want, I just let go. And then I hit Z or Z again. And now I have that color. So now I can just go in and like paint this light color into the ear. Right there, and we're good. Yeah, no problem. Okay, I want to pull. I'm gonna do a big move and pull this snout closer to the eyes for a bigger plane change right there. Something like that.
and from the from the uh, from this view, or sorry, if you want to pick a color just from the surface of your of your character, you can just um, hover over it and hit C. And it'll do it. Just want to get little little hairs in there. So do that just a little bit. Try it one more time from this angle. Yeah, I still need to. I'm still, I'm still getting there. We'll get there. that have I think that has uh, yeah mrgb turned on that's not what I want there we go too far one more time okay that's better Just subtle Hey, what's up, Grubber? How's it going? I'm trying to get this throat area to look better. Doing good? Just modeling a pooch. <laughs> Hey, Billy. I'm doing great. Thank you very much. All right, so let's see. I think I'm also going to paint the eyelids on rather than build them out this time. Again, just with the paintbrush with Sculptus Pro turned on. I'm going to go even smaller. Feel like this this is kind of the most delicate work <laughs> and I think I might build a lower eyelid up a little bit Thanks, Bernardo. Appreciate it. He's a lot coming along. Crank this up. And when you're doing smoothing too on this stuff, um, you'll want to turn off RGB because if you're smoothing over the top of color, it's going to blur it out. So it'll get it'll it'll make your uh, colors bleed. 
Don't want your colors to bleed. Okay. And an easy way to clean stuff up is to, by using the pinch brush with Sculptor's Pro turned off. Come along here. Because you, if you're, if you're doing a pinch with a, with the dynamic topology, it's going to fight each other. Goodness. Okay, I'm trying to decide what's going on there. <laughs> it's kind of giving my eyes a, you know, it's like, it's like I'm seeing it weird. You can always come back on the other side with the other color. Oh, I do want Sculptress Pro mode on for this. That's why I wasn't getting the, the resolution I was looking for. There we go. All right, let's get those eyes in place. Now for these, I duplicate them, then swap them out with a Spear 3D. <laughs> uh, Gonna get more faces in the surface. <laughs> Ship it. All right. Back to Gizmo 3D. And I'm just gonna chop off the front. Whoops. Maybe like that. <laughs> Day one patch. Oh, that's too real for me, Neil. Too real. Can I just get these close to the close to the eyes. Kind of set them down on there. And then I can project it. Let's see. Grab this one, turn this one, and then hit project all. What that does is that'll just set the iris right down on the surface of that sphere. But this sphere is too low polygon to make that really work very well. Actually, I'm, I'm opposite here. Let's see. Apply. Okay. There we go. Project all. There we go. That's what I wanted it to look like. So it matches that surface exactly. All right. then just pull it out away from it a little bit. So it has the same surface, but it's just, um, 
it's not embedded in it. Okay, let's see. Turn off these other ones I don't need anymore. He looks he look he's looking like he's dreamy. Dreaming. Hey Southern, how's it going? I'm gonna have to project them again because I'm moving them too much. Something like that. Oh, come on. Sometimes when you uh, grab the thing that you want, it selects the thing that's underneath it. <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay, so let's get to painting this now. points and that's having a rough time there there we go just crank up that weld distance and it'll get get rid of all those in that internal weirdness okay so z modeler brush insert some edges here Is this how I would handle anime eyes? Not so much. Um, sometimes anime eyes are too, uh, their, their shapes are too strange, or I wouldn't say strange. They're uh, too unique, and they're not really ready for a round eye. They're like flat sometimes, like Dragon Ball Z. They're almost like squares on their face. So um, if that was the case, I would probably just build them out regular. And then you animate the pupils going around rather than animating the eyes rotating. So it's a little bit different when it comes to that. Okay. So now that I have this, I'm just gonna fill it with this color. Yeah, for sure. It depends on the character. It's like I need to project these one more time because it's I have those new loops now. But it's making it strange. So let me di uh turn off dynamic. There we go. That will help. Project all. Okay. <laughs> How about this? Looks like a bat <laughs> without the head. Uh, yes, yeah, some of these, yeah. Um, or I can build it out or, you know, there's a whole bunch of different ways. And I talk about all these different ways throughout the course. And sometimes I'll talk about them during Q&A sessions. It just depends on, you know, each, each setup, what people are trying to do.
let's see show where is it view I don't use this as much as I should shrink yep I'm just setting up poly groups so I can fill this pupil with black or almost black we'll see And that's the reason why is because now I can adjust the pupil size really easily because it's masked off. And then I can fill it with um, this toy plastic shader. It should. See, that's that's the problem. It doesn't really work it works pretty well in here but not across that pupil so it's better to actually build the eye out um like real um with a cornea and all that to make it work well but for now let's just fill this with the material i have to click on m for material and if i go back to skin shade 4 only the eyes will be filled in and get that little highlight okay let's fix these ears and then we'll put some little tufts of hair on there and you can see the his head I need to adjust his head like this the shape of it from the side right here it would take it takes a long time to, uh, to it takes almost as much time to polish as it does to build the entire character why do I always have what problem with the eye I never get that issue you talking about this right here like this that's just because of the way it's built I mean if I were just to paint this eye on the surface of this eyeball like this one then it wouldn't the the highlight wouldn't do that so where to go toy plastic see that so I I could subdivide this up even more and just paint it on here it wouldn't let's see that's material uh, da, da, da. and see it wouldn't it wouldn't have that problem so maybe I'll do that now that I have the placement it's just I like to do it like this so I can adjust the placement after without having to repaint it you know See if I if I get the pupil size wrong now, it's hard to go back and adjust it. Huh. I don't know. You win, I guess. <laughs> I don't know.
Uh, you can, but it's not recommended. Have you ever been required to use another program besides the... Oh yeah, every, every time. I use Maya quite a bit. ZBrush is just um, pretty much a sculpting program, digital sculpting. So, um, if you do anything else, then you usually need like Maya or something else. There we go. No issue. See, there you go. No highlights. The reason why it doesn't it doesn't work with this one is because of it's because it's a pole and because it's, um, there's these edges, these support edges that I put in there. That's why it doesn't really work. So, I don't know, we found a workaround <laughs> for now. Okay, let's fix these ears. Oh, really, Dan? Oh, man, I'm sorry about that. Gonna pull that over. Yeah, probably. So usually when I'm doing this sculpting like I'm doing, it's the eyes are super temporary anyway. Until because it's if I usually if I take the character into a game engine, I'll rebuild it re for real, like with an iris and with a cornea and all that kind of stuff. So what I do in here is more for placement than for final look, if that makes sense. That's why I do it different every time and that's, yeah, it's just, I know it sounds kind of like excuses, but <laughs> it's seriously just temporary. Just to get it in there. Because I can't, you can't really build out a real eye inside of ZBrush because the transparency doesn't work the same as it does in a game engine. So if you build out an eye inside ZBrush, it's not going to look the way it's going to look, like say in, in Substance or Marmoset or something like that. Um, where's the back face masking again? Um, it is right here on my interface. But if I hold down control, you can see the button path. It's under brush, auto masking, back face mask. You can find it there. But my, my camera is in the way of it. So sorry about that. <laughs> That's where it's at. You teach how to create the eye in your course as a similar way or a different method. Um, yeah. So I, I'm actually building a stylized anatomy section right now. And that's, that's part of the reason why I'm increasing the price, the cost of the course is because it's like a course within a course. So, um, here, I'll show you really fast. And I haven't got to the eyeball yet, but I'm getting there. So this is, this is inside the main course and you can see right here stylized anatomy and I'm going through step by step by step and I've gotten the mouth the teeth the nose um, yeah just talking about it I've done a bit on some hands 
And I'm going to be going through the entire body this way and different ways of doing different things. And when I get to the eyeball itself, I am going to talk about building it like this and building it out for real with corneas and everything. So that's all, that's all coming, but it isn't in there quite yet. See if I can rewind this to where it was masked off. Yeah. Just want to get a little bit more of that light on those eyes right there. There we go. Back to RGB. Back to skin shade four. Okay. And I want to, I, I keep seeing this, the head, uh, proportions and I want to change them and th see now as I his iris is too big I need to make it smaller but it's really hard to adjust because it's painted on there his hey, inferior I did I showed it um, earlier in the stream but I can show you again One second. Oh, that's okay. I can show you. Just hold on one second. It's easy. Yeah, see his eyes are a little too big. Maybe I can shrink the whole eyeball itself and everything. I'm going to try it here in a minute. Okay, so to change this, you just go into uh, preferences under thumbnail and change the background to solid black. Then it'll do it. And then um, see this, the the size of the thumbnail, you can change it up and down right there. Okay. Oh, awesome 12 inch. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so for this, in order to drag it along with me, I've done this before. I want to shrink this whole area right here. And we'll 
fade it off. Turn on these and shrink this eye down. Whoop. Let's hide these. <laughs> it's going to look funny for a second. But this re so this pizza box thing it respects masking. So it's going to pull everything together and shrink the eyes down. Get them closer. Yeah, Neil, I I actually have a head that I want to replace it with. Okay, I don't want to scale it cuz it'll throw off Oh, it looks like he has got black eyes now. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I got to clean all this up. The mess it made. That's kind of weird. Oh, that's why it's a little dense. The density change right there. Okay. Oh, grab the right color. <laughs> now look, that's where the old eyes were. Kind of fun to look at. All right, let me just, I want to, I kind of want to do this, these eyes one more time. So I want them smaller. Are you asking me where it is or you changed it? to shrink his snout up a little bit. Oh yeah, you're talking about this little guy right there? Yeah, and I'm missing all the hairs too. Those are those are kind of the last bits that I'll do. I don't oh so I don't know how it's under preferences hotkeys, I think.
Okay. Where are we at here? Just kind of cleaning up some of this stuff. And you can put little wrinkles like that in with this cloth brush pretty easily. Turn on Sculptures Pro though. Turn it down. Oh, staring into the lights gives me a headache. <laughs> All right. Now I can do snake hook. Oh. All right, Sculptures Pro, come on. Turn it off. So Sculptures Pro does not work if you have Topological turned on. It's like one or the other. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off Symmetry. I'm just gonna pull out a couple hairs on here. Got to find the right angle of the camera to pull them from. Gosh dang it. Come on. Let's do it. <laughs> doesn't want to do it. I had it better the first time. Maybe from this angle was the best way to go. Okay, those are going to have to work. I'll just mess it. So Neil, I'm, I was, I'll paint them in in a second. I re, I wanted to reduce the iris size, so. I just painted the new iris size and then I'll just kind of react to that. I could. Comics, I could. I, I might. We'll see. And then maybe some back here. We'll turn the symmetry back on. Save this. Come on. It's being slow now. Slow. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Like, what the heck happened? It was there, now it's gone. It's hard to make it look like hair without it making it look like he's got problems. <laughs> you know? And sets of three work. Something like that. Second and third, what?
Ghost of Christmas Future? I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Over my head. Any reason why you prefer to keep the iris as a separate mesh? Is it because you want to have it a bit more flexibility when it comes to scale it? Yes, Bernardo, that's exactly why. So I'm actually gonna testimate these ears now because I want to Not that much. Let's see. Apply. Delete lower. You know what? That'll work. I just wanted some more geometry so I could pull out some some hairs in his ears. Okay, let's see. So these. You'd like to know how do they do the fur like Disney Infinity? Um, it's not, not too far away from this. So essentially what we would do with that is just mask it off. Like, like say for Sully, for example, just mask off some fur like this. I don't have enough I don't have enough resolution in my mask but you do a piece like this just get a shape and then invert the mask stick the gizmo about right here and then just rotate it up and then clean it up so see how this doesn't have enough resolution to support that but that's essentially how you would do it I mean, no. <laughs> hey, how's it going? All right. So this hair kind of looks a little lumpy. Didn't mean to turn dynamic on. Sometimes accidentally turning dynamic on can be a bad thing because it'll crash. Your brush will go, what are you doing? Uh, uh, crash. <laughs> why'd, you, why'd you push that button? No. Because it's trying to subdivide triangles, little tiny triangles, and usually that's not a good thing. Okay, what I can do with these ears, just to help them out, having troubles, is just get this, this pinch brush and just kind of add some, maybe not. Sometimes you try something and it doesn't work. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna roll this back. My history go there it is da, 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 da. okay let's try this again i like that one everything after that's crap <laughs> so let's try it again
Try to get some motion to it. Better. All right, I think that works. All right, you guys, I think that will about do it. Let me put the uh, just a really quick collar on him. Oh, and his, uh, let's, let's finish this really fast. Um, let's see. Let's do these eyes proper. <laughs> Hello from Russia. Okay. Now what I can do is just do a mask by intensity, invert that mask, then hide it. So I can kind of get an idea. So it's still there. And then fill the whole thing with this. Just right up. I want just a little black line around the edge. It's hard to do. Okay. It's tiny. much <laughs> I'll just leave it okay and then um, grab the airbrush grab this brighter color Okay, let's see if that works. There we go. I think I'm happy enough with that. That'll work. So if I didn't have symmetry on, I forgot to turn it back on. That's okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. Yep, thanks for hanging out. Um, and really quickly, today is the very last day of my Black Friday Cyber Monday sale on my course. If you wanna join me, today is fantastic time to join because I'm going to be increasing the price of the course at the end of the year. So, um, now is the best time to join it if you're interested. Um, you can find it at the link that Neil just posted right there, uh, 3dcharacterworkshop.com forward slash Black Friday enroll. Also, uh, Pixelogic is having a Black Friday Cyber Monday sale on ZBrush. 100 bucks off um, the full price of ZBrush. Fantastic. They also have uh, discounts on their subscriptions. So, a great time to pick up ZBrush as well. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. You guys are the best. Um, enjoy the rest of your Monday. And I hope you enjoyed the stream. And I will see you again next Monday. All right, have a wonderful December. And take care. We'll see you later.